This video intended for entertainment and informative purposes only, but the live commentary may not reflect this rating. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, it's Colin Clocks999. Welcome back more Super Mario Star Road. In the last episode, we got as far as we could into Skank Island Resort, and we got the stars in the Mushroom Mountain Town. And in this episode, we're going to be um, heading into Course 3, which, being honest, why else would they put a suspicious looking pipe here? Course 3, Piranha Plant Pond. The star one, Climb the Ruins. Now, instead of explaining this, um, it's actually pretty straightforward. So I think I'm actually just going to um, stay quiet and listen, let you listen to the music the entire way through. This is in Beware the Forest Mushrooms from, from Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. And this is, in my opinion, the best remix of it in any Super Mario 64 hat. Hope you guys are having an awesome time with the Super Mario RPG remake. I tried it, and I liked it. Although there were some things about the original that I preferred about it. And vice versa. <laughs> yeah, um, Before the Forest Mushrooms is a pretty common uh, remix to have in Super Mario 64 hacks. I mean, you know, Missing Stars had it. I've seen other hacks that have it. But, um, I think the one in Star Road is the one I like most out of all of them. So, let's head back in. Now let's do commentary for the rest of the stars. Star 2, The Flooded Cave. So, uh, he, so, uh, The Flooded Cave just so happens to be in here. And what you have to do here is actually pretty simple. Um... And it's that, um, you want, um, you want to, uh, push this, push this block, um, and you want to avoid these things too. You want to push this block over here so you can use it to a uh, long jump over to that platform over here because it's elevated and your long jump just simply can't make to it. You can't even use a wall kick to like bounce off of it. It just won't work in this case. Okay. So, long jump over to it and there we go. Eight red coins of the pond. All right. I don't think the I don't think the red coins are all that um all that bad in this one. Um, one of them I know one of them's under the bridge actually. So let's go ahead and uh, grab that. A few of them are in the water actually. And <laughs> wow, just going in the water kills the Goombas. Come on, who's to say Goombas can't swim? You know there are humans with no limbs that can swim. Okay. So one of them's down here as well. There it is. I don't remember if there's another one in the cave, though. Let's see. Um... Oh, jeez. Uh, it doesn't look like there is. Come on, get up. Dude, Mario, just get up. Okay, is it really necessary to make the to make that a slope? You really can't just make it a wall that Mario can just jump up and grab onto. 
Honestly, there are some, uh, there are some, uh, terrain decisions in this game that I honestly kind of question. Okay. Up here. Oh, jeez. I... Please don't tell me I'm stuck. Oh, well, you know what? The shy guy actually helped me. Okay. You're still a jerk, though. Oh, yes, there's one over here. Oh yeah, we also have uh, Shy Guys right here. Now, these guys are basically just the same as Goombas. Whether or not they're actually like unused enemies in, like, uh, in the game's code, or they're just kind of fly guys with the propeller taken off them, is honestly something I don't know, but... I, uh... But they're in the game, and they're not... And they're basically just Goombas, so... They're not... They're, they're not problems by any means. Oh, jeez. Okay, I, I want to do a triple jump to get that. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, let's try. You know what? Let's try this. This is the uh, little. Uh, this is like the little um, bouncy box with like the swirly eyes, and it's been retextured to be like a note block from uh, Mario Three, which I like. Oop, boy. Of course, that doesn't do it. Okay, there we go. Oh, let's listen to the prop playing a lullaby. Okay, yeah, it's a little, it's a little music box of the of the Mario theme, and I like it. Oh, you ever played that? Uh, you ever played that Mario uh, horror game called uh, Mario the Music Box? I don't really know much about it, but I heard of it, and. Uh, I like the idea of uh, making, of uh, make, uh, putting Mario in a horror setting, um, kind of like a Luigi's Mansion. But that game's like could it be more different from Luigi's Mansion? The artwork in it is pretty good too. Okay, and I really gotta start paying attention to where the star appears. Um, oh wait, it's up there, I think. Oh wait, no, it's over there. <laughs> what? Oh, it's over the piranha plant. Also, I just realized the piranha plants don't have sharp teeth in uh in uh in Super Mario 64. Ooh, did you see those birds fly by? Shoot to the tower top. So here we gotta find the bomb, buddy. Oops. Or, again, can you can you stop bouncing off the slope and just get up there? Uh, okay, so um, the Bob on buddy is uh, you want is you want to uh, head on over here, past this front plant, and over here, there he is. Hi, I'll prepare the cannon. For Actually, no, I should give them all different voices. Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. Ready for blast off. Go hop in the cannon when you are ready. Okay, so the so we have the uh, cannon right here, and we want to shoot to that tower over there. There's actually two stars up there. Um, you want you're aiming for the one on the bottom, so you want to carefully, I guess, aim about right there. No, that was too high. That was too low. Even though it looked pretty high to me, I don't know what the game thought there. Honestly, the Mar I like the cannons in Mario 64, but I will I'll openly admit that they, uh... You really... If you want to shoot um, somewhere, you really, you actually have to aim uh, pretty high, and that's... Um, because Mario will immediately start, like, descending when he... When, uh, when he launches out. So let's, uh... Jesus, like... This is like the freaking bow mini games in Legend of Zelda. Okay. Shoot like that. Let's try that. And there you go. That's how you want to do it. Next you have to make a kind of tricky jump. You you need to uh, basically do a side flip, um 
and uh, wall kick up here. Um, but on the little platform, like that's a little bit harder to do than it seems. But we got the uh, star. And I like that little piece of wood that's like a hatchway into the top of the tower. Underwater Metal Dash. So this is yet another star that we cannot get because we lack the uh, caps, which is... They're just piling them up, aren't they? So we have the metal cap over here, so we can't... So, and we can't get the star, obviously. So, um... So what, we are once again going to do the 100 coins of Piranha Plant Pond. Let's turn up the music! <laughs> You've collected a hundred coins! Mario gains more power. Okay. You know, it's... You know, I find that, uh, shoot the tower top a little bit uh, misleading because, you know, the tower top... Generally... When you think of top, you probably think of the roof, not necessarily the little area below the roof, but... Whatever. I'll show you how to get that star another time. And actually, instead of exiting the course, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, uh... I'm going to head up head up here to um the to uh, the ruins because the thing because the thing is when you get a star after you exit the course the uh, more ev for every 50 coins you had you get a one up so I, and I would actually like to have as many one ups as I can so by so I'm actually going to um take advantage of that by getting those one ups uh, from there. Okay, um, let's not end the video off quite yet. Instead, uh, let's check out the uh, future courses. Let's go in here. The power, the power of your stars has broken the seal on the store. You have a picture of a Chukya. Course 4, Chuckya Harbor. Climb to the highest pole. Hmm. I like this place. It's like a little, uh... It definitely looks like a harbor. I'll, uh... Give you that. That up here. In. Hey, buddy! What do you got to say? Hey there. Don't mistake me for those other hotheads. I'm not the sort to blow my top. I'm Bob, and you are... Nice to meet you, Mario. I came here to watch the Chuck Yet Chucking competition, but it's been postponed, so I'll have to simmer around here till next week. Since you're exploring this place, I'll give you a hint. I've heard that the Chuck Duff hit, uh, Chuck Yes have hidden the metal cap switch somewhere around here. They probably used the purple switch to hide the entrance. Good luck finding it. All right, so this is Bob, and generally he'll appear um, in a level sometimes and give you various hints on where to find things. So I'll make note of him whenever I whenever I see him. So, uh, I guess he, he's going on this adventure, too. Notice, the annual Chucking the Furthest the Chuck Yick and Chuck competition that will be postponed until next week due to a lack of chuckable objects to chuck. Also, a note to participants, please remember that it is against the rules to distract another Chuck Yick by chucking while he is chucking his chuckable object. So, um... So, uh, I'll, but I know exactly where, um, that metal cap switch you spoke of is. So, so I want to go, um, up this way. Oh, watch out for this guy. 
and down here, and up this pole. Up up here! Okay. Okay, no, this isn't... Actually, I don't think this is where we want to go. Um, uh, down here. Right here. Um, you were supposed to run across this, uh, these collapsing blocks, but, um... Whatever, I just... So I'm gonna hit this purple switch, um, head down here, and... Check it out, there are no boxes here. And we have this cracked window right here. Now, to break it, you have to kick it. You actually have to kick it. You can't uh, break it um, any other way. We head in here. This is the Creepy Cap Cave. And it is the Metal Cap course. Oh, one up. Ah, I missed it. And alright, we got red coins to collect. Oh, let's be careful here. Um, the collision on some of these... On, on this is, um, the collision on some of these is a little bit weird, but... Uh, we got, um, Snoofits, and here is the Metal Switch. You've just stepped on the Metal Cap Switch. The Metal Cap makes Mario invincible. Now Metal Caps will pop out of all the green blocks you find. Would you like to save? You bet. Alright. And two of them are up here. And one of them is down there. Okay. Oop, gee. So, uh, you... I'm sure some of us playing the original Super Mario 64 have wondered what happens. What happens if you actually, um, st step in, jump in lava while well metal? Do you just walk on it? Well, no. Mario actually does uh, do his ho 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 animation. And, uh, he actually does go flying up, but he does not take damage from it. And that's actually going to be, um, important in a future, uh, level. And I'll make note of that when that happens. And there's the last word coin. Now, right there, we actually have a uh, fossil. Now, I don't remember what, don't know why this happened once, but um, for some reason, when trying to, okay, not get hit by snoopit bullets, when trying to get this, I actually fell through the uh, fossil and through the ground, and I died, which was funny. I had it recorded, actually, but um, I unfortunately deleted the uh, footage. This is actually my um, second uh, time uh, doing this LP. I actually deleted all the footage before. So, sorry about that. Alright, now let's go in here. Course 5, Gloomy Garden. Big Boost Tower. But just like before, we're not going to go to the to a uh, Big Boost Tower. Hey, Bob's here. Brr, this place gives me the creeps, Mario. I don't really fancy hanging around with these ghosts much longer. It's a shame the Vanish Cap switches in this place. There's no telling where those mischievous ghosts could have hit it. Well, I think I know where I hit it. See that pipe down there? We want to get down there. We also have a uh, booze right here. I I've talked about this before, but I actually don't believe that booze are actually ghosts. I think they're actually just um, create uh, life forms that are like ghosts, kind of like how ghost Pokemon aren't actual ghosts. And those those Snoofits, I feel like they're actually a cross between a Snippet and a Boo. Check it out down here. You want to push that gravestone and head down here, and now we're down here. And ooh, it's pretty dark down here. What do you got to say? Follow the light. Oh. Well, I guess that's the light we want to follow, but I don't want to follow that light. I want to go even further into the darkness. Go forth, go to the left, and hey, check it out! Puzzle of the Vanish Cat. And I see you right over there. Here. Oop. Come here, you little ocean blue thing. I don't know. You've just stepped on the Vanish Cap switch. The Vanish Cap makes Mario disappear. Now Vanish Caps will pop from all the blue blocks you find. Would you like to save? Yes. And the, uh, 
and the Vanish Cat music is the re is um the uh, bunnies chasing from a Super Mario Galaxy. And I don't know what the I don't know what the actual um music for the music for the actual level is, but I think it's a song from a, a Nintendo 64 game called uh, uh um oh god what was it called Space Coast Silicon Valley. It was made by Rockstar Games, the same people who made a Grand Theft Auto. But I don't remember if that's the actual name of it. If I hit this uh, switch right here, um, it actually makes these lights appear. And there was a, a one that appeared over us um, when we uh, hit it. So let's hit it again. Oops. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's hit it again. And one of the lights appeared over there. And the lights indicate where the secrets are. And of course, they only stay on for so long at a time. Wait. Oh, hitting it twice turned them off. Okay. And we have uh, one right here. Uh, you slide on this, by the way. And another um, right here. Although it should be noted that the, the, the lights don't actually have to be on for um, the secrets to activate. And where's that fifth one? I only found four around here. Let's pick this up. You can here. Ah, it was out here. Okay. And the star's back out back there. So let's uh, hurry up and get it before our vanish cap runs out. Oh, it wasn't even flashing. And there we go. But, that's not quite all. We have this vanish cap, uh, right here. And, uh... Here we pick it up. Let's go. Let's go see what we can pass through with the Vanish Cap in the Tower Grounds. Oh, wait. Ah, that thing up there. Oh, come on. I just barely didn't make it. Well, if we look inside, uh, Mips is in there. I think he actually is in there from the start and doesn't appear um, when you get uh, 12 stars. Like, um, like he does in the original, but I could be Oh, wait, I am a dunce. The, uh... You, you're supposed to... You're supposed to take the shortest path, and I went, like, around the tower. No idea what I was thinking there. Jump in. Now I don't know why, but I've had some uh, in some instances where the that game actually crashed when I entered the house, and I don't know why that happens. But whatever, let's pick him up. Hey, put me down! I didn't say you could enter my house. How did you get in here anyway? Look, just take the star and don't come back. Wow, another power star! Mario gains more courage from the power of the stars. Let us save. And with that, guys, I think that's going to be the end of this episode of Super Mario Star Road. Next time on Super Mario Star Road, now that we have the Metal Cap and the Vanish Cap, let's head back to previous courses and get the last of the stars that are there. See you guys then. Goodbye.